Yeah, it's good to be back again now and talk about sports, talk about football. You know, like what Infantino said, football is life. And the more you stop talking about football, that means you are dead. Uh, over the weekend, uh, we saw live actions from the EPL and we saw what happened over the weekend. A lot of upsets, a lot of heartbreak, uh, a lot of exciting things to talk about. Some things we are whipping, some things we are, you know, we are celebrating. And again, the bigger one is coming up tonight and uh, it's a battle of supremacy. Yeah? Like I wrote in my article on business day, uh, you know, two sides, young coaches coming up against each other. Uh, you know, Lampard, a uh, Chelsea legend, he had a very terrible start against United and he's looking, you know, to see how he can, you know, salvage, you know, what happened over the weekend. Uh, but the big problem is that he's coming up against a, a, a judging club side that is ruthless, uh, a side that, you know, that, uh, you know, en route to Champions League last season, you know, you know, they took away a lot of victims and, you know, they won it for the first time since 2005. And again, the talking point here is about looking at the two teams, the strengths and the weaknesses. And when you look at Liverpool, you know, the experienced side, well tutored, focused, you know, have the mindset of playing Champions League final, or playing any cup finals. But when it comes to Chelsea, a young, inexperienced side and with a young and inexperienced coach. I say inexperienced coach, people say he's a coach, but I say coming from Derby County, coaching a side like Chelsea, is not the same requirement, it's not the same job description. You know, coaching a big side like Chelsea, you need to be focused, you need to pay attention to details. We saw what happened over the weekend, just little details, they lost the game, woefully. And when you are playing against a side like Liverpool, where focus, concentration, details matters, then you know that Chelsea has a lot to do. For Lampard, well, for me, it's a nasty test for him today. And a lot of fans, especially Chelsea fans, are still hopeful that he's still the right man for the job. But a lot of pundits still believe that uh, uh, he's still a learning curve for him. But again, that will, time will tell this night. Let's see what happens. If he's able to, like, you know, conquer Liverpool and win the UEFA Super Cup, fine. Then that means... Uh, it will spring up confidence back to Chelsea fans. But again, for the fans, I'm sure, like the Chelsea fans, they're like the diehard fans, very hopeful that ah, this is their club legend, has what it takes to win it. But again, look at Chelsea again. Uh, I just read the reports that uh, Kante won't be available. William, I don't know where he's available. So you now ask yourself, who'll be playing the games? So again, you look at it again. Chelsea are making their fourth appearance. The last time they won it was in 1998. They lost back to back 2012, 2013. So now for them now this is this means a lot for them. And for Liverpool, uh, Liverpool are making their sixth appearance. They won it last in 2005. And for Georgian club side who has tested trophy, he knows what to win trophy. So now he will not want to relent on winning trophies because he has made his mark, you know, in 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 in, in, the, in the list of coaches that are known for winning trophies. But for Lampard, I don't know. But I'm not trying to like play down Chelsea. But I'm looking at the 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 the, the the talking points. Uh, Chelsea are like the underdogs tonight. But again, football is a game of upsets and surprises. Anything can still happen. Uh, Christian Paulson, he showed some signs of, yeah, he can do it. But football is a teamwork. You can't just, you can't do it alone. But I think as a fan, as an analyst also, I, I expect to see a good football. But I don't, I, I, it would be a big surprise if Chelsea wins tonight. For me, it would be a very big surprise. But for football fans out there, I'm sure they can't wait. A lot of football fans believe even when their team are doing wrong, they still say it's the best team in the world. And so I think that's the same for Chelsea fans. They still believe that, yeah, Chelsea all the way, Frank Lampard all the way. And I, I hope they win tonight and to restore the confidence back to the team.